Hello everyone, Man of Interest here for a new Top Clack series. Welcome to Witch Switch, a show where I'll be going over all sorts of different switches. What makes different switches actually different? I wanted to start off this series with the absolute basics. How exactly do mechanical key switches work? For this episode, I'll be going over MX style switches. So on camera here, you can see some switches, in particular, some pretty giant switches. Thankfully, these giant switches exist thanks to Top Clack's partner, Novel Keys. You can order the switches there if you're in the US or check out their international proxies. But now that's that all out of the way, what are the components of a switch and how does the switch work? Well, let's start with switch classification. MX style switches are classified by three different types. Linear, tactile, and clicky switches. The components of the switch are the top housing, the bottom housing, the leaf, the spring, and the slider. Clicky switches will either have a click bar for certain kale manufactured clicky switches, or others may have a traditional click jacket. Let's start by examining the parts of this giant yellow linear switch and see how the parts interact with each other. Here are the parts of the switch, laid out from left to right. It's also laid out from bottom to top. From the bottom, we have the bottom housing, which contains a leaf. Sitting inside the bottom housing would be the spring. Mounted on the spring is a slider, and the switch is enclosed by the top housing. So how does this whole thing work? When you press on the keycap, the slider moves down. You can see the legs of the slider presses on the leaf. When the leaves make contact, it renders an actuation that your PCB will detect. That's how all MX style switches work. There are small differences between them that make them feel or sound unique. Let's compare the linear and tactile switch. All the components are the same except for one part, the stem. The legs on a linear stem are straight, while the legs on a tactile stem have a bump in them. As the slider moves, the leaf makes contact with the bump on the leg of a tactile stem, which creates the tactile feeling. Kale click bar clicky switches use a click bar mechanism that give a loud clicky sound. There is an extra leg on the opposite side of the stem that doesn't actuate a leaf, but instead strikes the click bar, which hits against the housing to create the click sound. Finally, traditional clicky switches use a click jacket, which is a separate plastic piece mounted on the stem. When the legs of a click jacket make contact with the leaf, the click jacket collides with the top part of the stem to create a click. These are the basics of how mechanical key switches work. Stay tuned for more episodes. Next episode, we'll be looking at how to read and interpret force curve graphs. After that, we'll be going over a plethora of switches and reviewing how they feel, their force cur curve graphs, and why they all feel different from one another. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy this new series.